good morning, my name is Magnus, and if you watched my previous films, you would see that I tried out some small-scale farming while I was helping my old dog to heal from a broken leg. Well, although it uh, didn't exactly made me rich uh, money-wise growing some potatoes and carrots, but it certainly was a type of lifestyle that made my life rich in a peaceful and balanced way. So this year I am back at it. Although my old dog passed away last summer from old age, I have a new four-legged friend called Tamarack. But I can't sit here all morning and drink coffee. I have stuff to do. So let's start by putting the old row ridger back on the Ferguson 35 and do some potato ridging. This year I am growing a couple of rows of potatoes, carrots and some corn. But most of my little field I have dedicated to sunflowers. Not only will they look beautiful when in bloom, but it's also nice fertilizer for the soil. And by doing some crop rotation, it prevents the potatoes from getting diseases that could be lingering in the soil from last year's crop. But while I was busy reaching, someone else felt a bit bored. Tamarack here, he's a big and cuddly teddy bear. He loves to cuddle and uses his entire body weight to tell you that. He's growing bigger every day, but he is a very kind and nice dog. Good. 
and outside my bedroom window, this tall purple flower suddenly popped up. Not really sure what type of plant it is, but it's nice, so I will let it stay there. But I do have a confession to make. I had some problems. I had some trouble with my vegetables. Yeah. They have troubles with snails and insects chewing on them and destroying them. And it's not easy to get rid of that without using chemicals and stuff. And I don't want to do that, so... I need to come up with a creative idea that can get rid of the snails and other insects. And I think I just found my solution. Hmm. The rooftop. I have gotten some inspiration from the big city. There is this growing trend of having small crops and plants on top of uh, rooftops. So called urban farming. Which is a great way to be able to do some gardening if you live in the city. There is not many skyscrapers in my neighborhood, but my little garage roof is pretty flat. So it's a great place to have some crops on it. And hopefully the snails won't climb up there. So I decide to make a flower type box out of this pallet that I can grow my more delicate vegetables in, like lettuce and broccoli. So let's see what I can make out of this. And my clumsy assistant is more of trouble than help.
It is a bit windy up here and not much uh, shade during the daytime. So I must remember to, to water it well on the hottest summer days. But I am pleased so far with my work. So now, as the seed is sown, it's just a matter of waiting. Hopefully I won't fall off the roof when I stumble up and down the ladder in the morning to get my morning lettuce. Back in my little field, I have this open spot where I decide to sow some wildflowers. I mixed several types of flower seeds together with some sand in the bucket. The sand works as a medium to get the seeds to spread more evenly. Then I used a rake to get the seeds covered with soil. Then I take the John Deere garden tractor and drive it back and forth to pack it all down nice and firm. It's crucial to get the seeds in good contact with the soil. The crops are coming up nicely and the sunflowers are getting taller every day. And my urban farming is also looking very promising.